Yeah, I think I think we need to make commitments that we can keep. Um, and you know, one of the commitments we talked about is this: uh, listen, we'll create one million jobs. Oh, that's a that's a big one. Huh? I mean, everybody in the country is looking for work. I must have said my Mary Gold or Stanley Hotel, Holy Gold and Arbla, Abu Ali Advertisement, Lamana Hotel, or some like work number. You can see the desperation among our people looking for work. And when we have a government just come and send up the son of working management, also, yes, we will do one million jobs. The jobs are already that can be created very easily, as we said about forestry, fisheries, agriculture, mm. tourism. Tourism, when you get the law and order right, people will come, they will live in hotels and guest houses and travel up and down the road and airlines. And that creates jobs opportunities for Papua New Guineans right across. But it's not given one uh, plan law, developing models law. Mm. Suppose you want to youth and you know that work, calling me. Uh, mm. These are not practical things. Um, you mean to talk law, giving belly in a sweet plot to talk law, man, Mary. Yeah. But practically, you need to go and develop the industry. Like agriculture, you have to, you know, what, what sort of support do you have to give? Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, okay, to come out and make a commitment mm. of one million jobs, there's nothing wrong with that commitment. No. I, th I think it's a commitment that any government should make. Yeah, but, but then they got to move beyond that. You got to make it with a plan. And with a plan yeah. and say, all right, we're going to get the jobs in this sector. Mm -hmm. They're going to be based in wherever. Yeah. So actually, have some numbers so the young people can say, all right, the jobs are in Ley or the jobs are in Hagen or the jobs are in Mosby or Tate Rabaul or Wewek. Like, where are the jobs? And so being, we're not able to do that. And you just throw them on the big Lanabanato, one million jobs, mm -hmm. and that's the end of it. And, Total sol stuff on top now. Take a blame underneath and know that. And then to sort of, I, when I asked him the question, for him to go and change the definition of mm. of jobs and say, no, look, the jobs that we want are going to be, you know, jobs in the village, uh, working on the land or doing. And uh, those are things we're already doing. Mm. Uh, all, all work low place now, work low ground now, planning. Uh, working garden. Or working something. garden, uh, planning cocoa, uh, coffee, uh, all these things. We're already doing that. Mm. I think the jobs that Papua New Guineans are looking for are the jobs where I guess we've been training them for. I mean, skilled, skilled work, huh? All, and and if they're not here, I mean, there's no shame in saying, look, all right, well, why don't we have a program where, if you have a say a, a qualification in nursing, Mibla Bay Guna, we're gonna give you a six-month uh, bridging program where you are certified as a caregiver yes. with your say nursing qualification so you can go and get a job in australia or japan or somewhere else so let's not be too proud mm -hmm. especially you may get plenty heavy stuff yeah mm -hmm. you may humbly you may yet not talk right look there's nothing wrong with upskilling our people mm -hmm. so that they can go and work somewhere else mm -hmm. huh? and then later on so you have a long-term plan short-term plan and also more more long-term plan well hopefully they'll go and work and come back and then they can come and uh, rebuild their life here in PNG. Yeah. But just to simply say that we've got a million jobs for you and we don't even know where they are, mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's fair on Papua mm -hmm. New Guineans.